Hi guys, uh, today, <laughs> today was a big fat flop in terms of timing and planning. I revived on time for I thought was a presentation. I check and the, I'm like, hey, I'm here for a presentation for a fashion show. And it's like, what? There's a show happening? I check the invite and it was yesterday. And why did I think it was today? It was yesterday, so I missed a presentation. And so I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's a different date. I was like, oh, okay, no worries. And then I had enough time where I was like, I could go to the first fashion scout or I could check out the Hermes and Prada pop-up. So I, on my way for the, the Prada pop-up, which is in West London, and I'm like, okay, but there was delays and everything. So I was like, I don't think I'll have time to check it out. So I go to the Hermes one and I arrive there. It's really nice, really pretty. And there was a magic trick there was um like you could get flowers i don't i don't want to walk around town with flowers so i was like i'm not gonna get have one um but there was tarot reading and uh like someone who could do your caricature the line was so long for the tarot reading i felt like the woman was giving your whole life story whereas the caricature guy did it pretty quickly but the line was huge so Around 12.30, they were like, okay, um, they're, they're going to be on their, um, on their dinner break. So I left, and then when I came back, like, I was just like, I'm not going to wait. I'm so exhausted, and stuff like that. So I just came back home. I don't think I showed you my outfit. <laughs> wait, let me send up. I had this bag with me. Perfect. This is what I have planned for the fashion scout. I want to be a bit, you know, crazy. So I want to put this attention award t-shirt. I have the skirt, the brown skirt, and then these pants. Oh yeah, I didn't show you what I got. They, at the Hermes pop-up shop, they gave us a free magazine. Hermes releases uh, two magazines every year and it's free. So this is Le Monde d'Hermes, which is basically means the world of Hermes. And usually like fashion magazines, this is what the guy told me at the stand. So usually fashion magazines um, follow the trends and everything, but with Hermes, because they release two magazines per year, they select a theme and then they do the magazine. And uh, so I'll just show you. It's really pretty. What? And from, from what I've heard, they collab with 150 artists uh, to do this magazine. I don't see like, it's either 150 or 50 artists. And then before they, as they were told, telling us about the lunch break for the caricature and the thing, oh, I broke it. They gave us, it was either a cookie, a madeleine or energy bar, like energy ball, sorry. So I took the cookie, it just says biscuit, flour, salted butter, icing, icing sugar, vanilla, lemon zest. Expiring date, 20th of September, 2023. Okay, so this is from Hermès. Santé, uh, no, not santé, bon appétit. That bite was $100. <laughs> this is really good. Guys, it's time for the fashion show. I'm wearing my Converse. How the pants, the skirt, and this shirt on top. Okay, I'll see you guys at the show. I thought this day was going to be shit, but I ended on a really high note. The last show, uh, I can't even speak right now. So the show that I did decide to go was the Hector McLean, McLean okay, show in the church. And so 
when I arrived, I, 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 I it felt like it was a, there was a lot of people, so I was scared that I was they were not going to let me in. But I did go in, and my original ticket was a standing ticket. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm standing and everything, and then this lovely PR lady says, are you okay here or do you want to sit down? And I was like, I want to sit. If I have an opportunity to sit, I will sit. And I did sit. Um, and then she did say it again, oh, to other people, like, oh, do you want to sit in the church? I was like, oh, damn, I could have sat in the church. But where I was was really nice because it was at the end of the runway. So I got to see more of, of the pieces as the models were posing for the photographers. Oh my God. So about the show. I I need to see my phone. Hello, hope you're well. I'm currently editing the video. Oh, I'm so tired. I haven't used this in a while. I love this. <laughs> okay, this is not the issue. Um, I found it a bit sad that I said that I couldn't remember properly because I'm sorry. I'm really uh, can't even speak right now. I'm really I'm realizing slowly that sometimes i can't fully exp i can i can't fully remember i can't fully remember a event because i've depended so much on my phone to like as a proof and it's not because i want to post it on social media it's not that as a matter of fact a lot of the events i've posted was just for my own benefit it was not for social media but the fact that I always have some t that the fact that I have to rely on my phone for memories is a bit concerning. Like, like now that fashion gets over and everything, I I do remember going to the shows. I do remember seeing the beautiful pieces, but I I feel like I have to like do some type of exercise of not having to rely on my phone, or I, I don't need to take a video of everything, you know. But yeah, I had to I had to stop myself that because I was like, girl. This whole fashion when you were, you were like on your on your phone and if someone were to tell me what did you enjoy about the pieces like right off the bat like let me let me pull up my phone but like now like now that fashion is over and I have time to relax and everything I'm like you know what like there were pieces that I remember that were that like I just you know like I could re reimagine myself back um there at the show and like just seeing the beautiful white dress this beautiful like um blue top like i i remember like i'm not completely well gone but yeah i had to say that and i don't feel like i'm the only one don't lie don't lie okay i know one of you too is also experiencing that so yeah and that could also apply to concerts or just anything yeah it's weird but i'm working on it i i'm glad that i caught it i'm glad that i i, I took accountability like I, I i'm glad i'm self-aware and i want to i want to improve that because that's sad having to rely on my phone mm -mm. my memory yeah okay back to the video first of all I really enjoyed that show. The name of the show was Orlando and Opulence. I want to say like very um, ball. The as when I'm talking about very ball like, so think of Louis Vuitton and Renaissance and all that stuff. In the sense of the the not the motifs on the fabrics were giving me that feel of you know opulence. So very like opulence, opulence, but like very grandiose, very Renaissance. Um, but it really fit the modern twist and I really like that like these and also the the, the, the the shoes I did realize had some of them were white and had like a gold touch Oof, this 4 plus 4 8 because he ate mm -hmm. <laughs> but you can see it's very like tap tapisserie yes and then there were pieces like this. I don't know how I would interpret those pieces, but it does have like that fun, especially the pants, little dingly things. And it gives more of that festive 
you know, Orlando fest uh, opulent. So opulence for me is like Kanjo is like festive. So yeah, the sleeves. There's one, cause usually a coat, it really covers the your like a good part of your pants, right? Your trousers, as they say in the UK. And so there was this coat. Wait, was it this one? Yes. So this it had an open. Ooh, this at the back. The back was open. <gasps> Look. So you can actually see the full form of the pants. Iconic. Iconic. Genius. Genius. Wow. I. This show really ex um, exceeded my expectation. Expectations. I am in shock. Ooh, this is a thing with Fashion Week. Like. I usually never leave my house but fashion week because I like fashion and it gives me this opportunity to talk to people but also with the different venues that the shows are happening I get to explore London which I never do so I love this I love London Fashion Week 2468 London Fashion Week 8 hi guys today is Sunday so this is the third day Fourth day of fashion week. It's very simple um, Levi's leather pants, my pink shirt, and then this jacket. guys so it's currently 4 30 p.m and i just got home from a, the pop-up shop and from one of the fashion shows um, it, because it was really rainy i my mood was a bit down but the sun is back up so i'm like happier the pop-up shop was really interesting it was from a canadian brand based in toronto it was like rings and necklaces the pieces that were at the pop-up were all silver but i told them if they had a gold collection because i'm a gold girl and it did say that the gold pieces will be available online starting next week or two weeks so yeah the really the really nice pieces and then I went to I went to the Global Fashion Collective and there were three brands so Forsen, a, a Korean brand, and then there was Bifro, a Canadian brand. Woo! <laughs> the last brand was Hulex, which is from Taiwan. It's also from the Forsen show. I really like that show. It's like very simple, minimalist. I'm really into that. The bags sold me. Mm -hmm. And also the tops. Well, the pants were well tailored. And the tops were went nicely. I don't know how I can explain this. Yeah, well tailored. They were well tailored. Yeah, the B for one. Okay, so the B for one was really interesting because there were kids walking, and they also had adults um, walking. But the kids' outfit complemented. So it wasn't. It wasn't like a kids and the adult wearing the same stuff. It was the same. Like the same theme. And it was complimentary so oh, I love this because obviously what goes to a kid might not go as the adult and vice versa so the fact that it was complimenting well mm, I approve and then Wolex the jackets sold me and they're so well because I I know like the oversized I like to wear oversized but when I see a well tailored suit jacket I'm sold. Uh, why don't I have well tailored? I don't know. I think I feel like I'm I'm scared of being too restricted. I like to move, like being woo. I like to do that and be comfortable. But I don't know. The well, those those jackets suits. They sold me, and some of them were oversized, had that oversized look, but they still, it didn't feel like too oversized to the point it was like a bit awkward. It was like a well. Yeah, oh, I'm really happy to go to that show. Okay, I have less than 30 minutes to get ready for the anti-fashion week party, which 
I know it's like kind of contradictory for myself because I did go to fashion shows and presentations, but it is hosted by the Fashion Blueprint in the discourse about how inclusive Fashion Week has been or is. And their concept is really much so about we don't need a chair at your table. We're just going to make our own table, which is really nice. And it's really about celebrating inclusivity, diversity, all that stuff. So I'm going there. The thing that I love about the Fashion Blueprint is that obviously the attire was be yourself. But if you still don't know what to wear, they give us a mood board. <laughs> I'm just waiting because I use Opal to restrict my my time on social media so there's that I'll just put it there it's like very I want to say futuristic but like also like fun so I have an idea of what I want to wear the thing that I'm scared of is that one of the dresses that I want to wear is really short and I don't want to walk in London with like short skirt I want to say I'm quite modest <laughs> I don't know actually guys I'm ready for this entire fashion week party so this is the look because i like those boots but i i'm scared that it will hurt me all night but i do have to practice where walking in heels more often look at this i have this i don't know why i thought it was shorter but i like this as a skirt and then i have the attention whore t-shirt and yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys at the party Bye. Ow, 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 ow. I'm not comfortable wearing heels, so it really hurts. But I'm not taking the metro, I'm taking Uber because I'm bourgeoisie. Is that my. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh my god, so when I left, I had these, which are heel protectors for your shoes, like Doc Martens or heels, whatever. I had these, but the issue was that I don't have pressure from the my heels. It was from the front. Ouch! Ow. I can't even take myself seriously. Bro, but for real, it fucking hurt. And the thing, the crazy thing is that. Shut up. And the crazy thing is that during my graduation, I managed to walk all day in heels. But for five minutes today, that day, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. What? Bro, I'm a fucking sneaker girl through and through. But I really do need to, like, know how to walk in heels. <laughs> bro that now is fucking hilarious i could not walk at the end of the day i'm such a weak individual <laughs> from the front of the shoe so all like my big toe my big toe but <laughs> it's probably dislocated so at the point i just had to remove these but they really help they really do help with my boots whenever I, I need it for a long walk. Oh my god, the party was really nice. Talked with the two founders, which was really nice, really cool. At some point, I'm like, because I had this little friend, I started taking pictures from this camera, this camera. And it was really fun, really nice. It's 10 p.m. and weirdly enough, Fashion Week has regulated my sleep schedule. You know, London Fashion Week brings out the best version of myself. And for that, I'm grateful. Thank you, London Fashion Week. <laughs> Hi guys, today is the last day of London Fashion Week. No! I had so much fun. And today is the last, I have just one event. Guys, I'm ready to go for the last show of the London Fashion Week, oh my god. I put the trench coat, everything, cause you know like, fall is actually starting. I have my flats. Very chic, very nice. Very London Fashion Week. I'll see you guys at the event. At it. Hi! Woo. 
what an evening i'm tired it's actually so funny oh by the way i'm lactose intolerant so no actually normally cheese doesn't affect it's just when i just drink straight milk okay let's talk about tonight's event so like i said i was invited to the vanity hub africa show and basically it's just multiple african designers showcasing their collection and it's just a way to like show people that there's also luxury fashion in africa here's the thing the show was supposed to start at seven but it didn't it didn't start at seven it started at eight it's so already an hour late we're eight designers they said that after the show there was supposed to be a concert and presentation so pretty much after the show you were supposed to see the i'm pretty sure you were you could see the garments just up close so the first designer comes real cool pieces i really liked the the suits that had designs it's not like a printed fabric it's really mo like you sew the design on the shirt which is really nice so after the first designer finished shows his collection there's a break and i'm like oh okay usually when i went to the other shows this week especially for the fashion scouts they would there's a collection and then like this music dance and then another music comes back up so it's like pretty much instantly as this was like five minute breaks and then i realized when the models started walking that they just used the same models for every designer which it's kind of smart but at the same time i feel like some, you might lose the interest of the of the public then this woman starts giving a speech which is about like okay like this is what we're showcasing and i'm great like the designer the second designer shows the collection great then there's another break and there are two musicians playing and then i have a part i'm just like this could have been a presentation and not necessarily a show i don't know or like if they wanted models because they, they could have still done a presentation but like each model could do a couple of pieces and then the rest of the pieces could just stand like people would just see around and stuff like that which is it would be nice right i think it, i think i just think it was a missed opportunity i don't know oh yeah at the beginning there was a harp i i literally forgot to mention that that was really beautiful now the thing that made me laugh it, i was just like what the fuck while every model was walking down there was a woman just saying oh my god i love this oh my god who wants to buy this piece oh they look at the details it was so funny like at that point i i felt like i didn't i, I felt like there was too much stuff happening that i my eyes were not necessarily on the designs it was just there was too much stuff going on between the first and the second collections designers the woman that was starting to walk to talk about her speech and everything she hears noises from the from the backstage and she's like guys can we please just quiet down i just eat i was laughing the thing is that reminded me of the gez like the Halsey and GEZ thing. If you say GEZ one fucking time, and like that, that was the same energy. Like it was so funny. People were laughing. This one, they were just like, but so chaotic. And then the two drum, well, it's not, well, the two drums, drummers were making lullaby songs. People were singing along. I don't know. It was just, I was like, oh, okay. Check my time. It's already like almost 9 p.m. And I'm like, okay, well, I have my internship tomorrow. I have to wake up quite early because I take quite a lot of time to prepare. And I cannot see for eight designers. If every designer is going to be like at least five minute break. And the thing is, the drummers didn't take five minutes. It was like a proper performance. That was well, well over five minutes. I don't know how many minutes, but imagine after each designer, there was something like that. Let's just say 15 minutes. And there are eight designers. I I think as I'm talking, they're I think they're on their like fourth or fifth designer, something like that. So 
clearly I, I, I wish I would have seen because I, I looked at the pamphlet and there was one designer that I was really interested in but from looking at the pamphlet the designers were not showing in order as in on the pamphlet so he could have been last and I don't know I wouldn't have known but regardless I really did love some pieces the last designer that I saw really incorporated like pop of colors like even more bright than this and and clearly they know what they're doing because some of the pieces I'll show you here some of the pieces were actually really incredible I don't know I felt I feel like they could have done it a two-day or a three-day event but then again it's like cost and everything and bringing I don't know but well at least don't do it during the night do it during the day but yeah that was really too funny I don't know what to say from this to be honest regardless of the chaos and it's not a bad chaos I, I was actually finding it funny but I think they could have done a two-day event African designers know what they're doing overall I really did enjoy my London Fashion Week yes I love fashion and it just gives me the opportunity to see other people's work and also get to explore London because it's not like Paris where they always do the venues at the same places so London one day they could one year they could do I don't know like in a church and then the other year they could do in a botanic garden so it really depends well depending on the brand but I am so happy I want to thank the PR team oh my god let's give a big shout out to PR teams during this stressful 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 time let's give a sh big shout out to modeling agencies and just anyone who's working during that time they're they must be so stressed and overworked and tired they all deserve a nice little break when fashion week is over I also want to thank the brands that um, extended their invitations to me even though I I'm just I just started this YouTube channel and I have like 200 followers and I want to thank you guys for be willing to watch this video and all of my videos um, yeah it's time for me to say good night and I'll see you guys next time bye